you think you'd have that in you when you were a Spice Girl? Um, well, you're still a Spice Girl, aren't you, really? Well, I studied English literature before I was in music, and so I always liked the power of words. So it was something that was always in me. Writing a novel is slightly different, harder and thicker. Um, but, yeah, I always love it, so... I read... Tell me if this is true, cos I think you're one of those people who is always trying to better yourself or just find new things out and stretch yourself. Is that fair? Yeah, I'm a very curious person yes. and I always like learning, so... So I read that one of your ambitions is to go to Oxford University to study history and English. Is that true? Do you know what? I wouldn't mind. Actually, I'm going to speak there in, uh, tomorrow, so uh, that will do in for a, now. Like a debate or something? Yeah, they've asked me to go and do a talk. Do you so... think you'd be able to study well now? I think now I've got more discipline. I would say, before I didn't have the discipline. Um, but I do love learning, yes. Where's the writing situation? So where do you literally do your writing? What, do you okay, have a perfect scenario? Sometimes it, there's a little shed I go to. I bet it's not a little shed. Yeah, it is, is a it? shed, it, yes. I'm hearing cynicism. I'm just, <laughs> uh, when you say shed, <coughs> I'm thinking, like, warehouse no, no, or luxury room. No, there's a little shed in the garden. I just want the quiet. And the other thing you've got to do is you've got to leave your phone. Yes. You've got to leave your phone. It's an absolute creative killer. Have you ever put pen to paper? No, not really. Not in, not in novel form, which I think is quite a discipline, isn't it? it so is did you do the thing where you go, right, five hours, I, I That's don't leave exactly here that. until... I don't leave the shed... Yeah, you have it's to It's got commit. lights, presumably, and, and heating and yeah. all those kind of things. Yeah. Yeah. It's Stephen King's book. Uh, he's got... He te it gives you guidelines of how to... You know, of, of formats of how to write. And what was the main one? Um, one was in darkness, actually. He said, like, like all... So any stimulation, this would be the worst place to write because it's too bright. But he likes d complete darkness, so you're completely immersed. You've, oh. you, you've managed to get quite a bit of advice from other authors, haven't you? Kind of like almost happenstance, just like you've come across them. Didn't, who was it that you gave Stephen, a draft uh, copy? OK, so I gave to two. One was Jacqueline Wilson. Yeah, get who early. we've had, big friend yeah, of the Yeah, she's program. amazing. Yeah. Yeah. And the other one was William Boyd. That's William cool. Boyd, it's like, it was like giving Humpty Dumpty to Beethoven. <laughs> and he said to me, you've got to rewrite it from the, th um, from the first person into the third person and then into the... Uh, past tense from the present tense, so I had to do the whole thing again. But you believed him? Yeah, I mean, he's a maestro. I know, he's but it incredible. was your book. It was your... I know, but I was struggling, right. you know, and this was like... It was a baptism of fire to write a, a book like this. You have children, don't you? Mm-hmm. So, I don't, so I, as you I'm do. Not, I'm not sure what age they are. Yes, they're, they're... all ages. OK, all ages. Do they... They get to read it early doors. Do you run it past them? I, I don't, actually. Ah. Actually, my husband's read it, and he said to me, oh, it's much better than I thought it would be. Mm -hmm. But it's for Is everyone. That it? Is that all like, he said? No, 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 he said I couldn't stop turning the pages. But That's he's better. written another book. Yeah. Surely he knows that you're Yeah, but he's writer. not a big reader. So he was like, I'll wait till it's published. And he Do you was... think he actually... Did he read it cover to cover? Yeah, he did. You, you should get him on and ask him. OK. Yeah, he's... he's uh, yeah, he liked it, but it's for everyone. I felt like the world needs a new hero, someone that will like inspire you, give you, find you the courage you never knew you had, Charlie. Actually, in the book, there is one of my favourite characters is called Charlie, and he's like the boy that you just love and depend on. No, I could Isn't that nice? On. Yeah, Lena is nice? nothing yeah. like this, Rosie. Charlie. Yeah. Nothing like this. <laughs> nothing like this, Charlie. We well, should explain. Yeah, your, your husband is is a boss of a Formula One uh, team. Correct. So he has attention to detail. I mean, that, that is does. what that business is all he, about, isn't it? Yeah, he, he'd like this space. He likes clean. Is that what your is, is that a result of? So that you, yeah, yeah, the house they is like they like clean. Does that work so for you? Is that not you? I would say I'm. I love tidy, but I can be messy. I, I, it's fair, yeah. And you get to go to a lot of racing. I mean, is that yeah. something that's now in your blood as well? Well, I used to go anyway because my father was a second-hand car dealer. Ah. So I always liked cars. And um, so I've always had that interest in me. I was at the race at the weekend in Austin. Yes, yeah, so that was nice. Yeah. <laughs> And is there a crossover? Because that's adventure, isn't it? You know, racing is adventure, and your story is an adventure. Yeah, it's it? a massive adventure. But if you like history, 
conservation, it's all in there. If you like the Tudors, it's a modern day story, but um, it's about this girl, Rosie Foshy, gets sent to this school, which is built by Queen Elizabeth I in honor of her mother, Anne Boleyn, who was shamed for being smart. So she builds this school on Bloodstone Island. It's like a Jurassic Park. Instead of dinosaurs, it's conservation endangered animals. She goes through these like challenges of the Falcon Queen games, and Anne Boleyn gives her four rules OK, to find the courage you never knew you had, which she gave to Queen Elizabeth I. And Queen Elizabeth I used these rules and she became the greatest... Fact? Yeah. The four rules? Could be. OK. And the four <laughs> rules... <laughs> but you could use these rules. If you've ever what's felt not, bullied... What's rule one? Um, have courage, OK? Have, take it the chance you fear the most, which you did. You did when you did that show. Second rule? Second rule, united we stand, OK? We need each other, right? Third rule, never give up.